What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. After my recent sensor panel review I got from MACD, you can check the review in the upper right corner if you like. Today I'm gonna review another product from the MACD website. As you've seen from the intro, we are talking about a compact wireless mechanical keyboard, but not just an ordinary one, thanks to this retro typewriter look. As usual, I will leave the link down below for the purchase if you are interested in this product. It costs anyway uh, 119 USD dollars, but I was able to get an exclusive coupon for all of you who are subscribed to the channel, so you can save some bucks. I'll paste it in the video description below as usual. The product is available in three color versions. So we have the black and wood version that we have right here and that we'll be reviewing today in this video. We also have a pink and a white version too. I chose the Ultimo Red Switches which is the most common and popular among gamers, but blue, brown and gold switch options are also available on the website. Also, this is the white backlight version, but I saw there is also an RGB version existing too. So if you want to know more about this product, follow me in this video. So let's see what's in the box. You can read from the box that this is a wireless mechanical keyboard through the Bluetooth 5 protocol. The battery has 2000 milliamp capacity. And at the back we can read some additional specs that we will see later on anyway in the video. We really don't have much for the unboxing, we just get this piece of paper in Korean language. Then the keyboard, which comes well protected, we'll see it in detail in a moment a micro USB cable. Then we see these two spare red switches and the key switch puller. But now let's have a closer look to the product and its specifications. After removing the plastic bag, we can really appreciate how compact and stylish the keyboard is. Thanks to the 83 keys layout, this is obviously a US layout and I think actually is the only one available. Coming to the measurements, it's 33 cm by 17.8 with just 5 cm of thickness and it weighs about 730 grams. From this angle, we can easily see the mechanical red switches and each single round key surrounded by a nice polished metal finish. We also have a useful tablet stand, in case you want to use this keyboard with an iPad or any tablet. I have to say I also like this wood texture on the keyboard and this nice metal wheel. We have another one on the left too, as well as a metal line space level. At the back of the keyboard we can see where to turn it on. Honestly, I would have preferred a normal power switch since this one is quite difficult to use, especially if you are not looking directly at it. Then we have the Bluetooth button for turning on the Bluetooth connectivity and the USB port for charging it or for using it via wired connection. We also have a nice white backlight. There is anyway an RGB version too if you are interested. At the bottom of the keyboard we can read the product name along with the, some information about Bluetooth pairing. So let's test the keyboard now. First of all let's have a look at its back and after turning it on I'll press the Bluetooth button in order to pair it with my tablet. At the front you will see the LED indicators showing several informations. The typing experience is quite good with this keyboard, you obviously have to get used to the unconventional shape of these keycaps and also to its sides and to the fact that there is no adjustable kickstand so you can't adjust the keyboard's incline. The integrated tablet stand is quite useful in my example here. You see I'm using a tablet and this setup could be perfect if you are traveling for example. You can see here that with the left metal wheel I am adjusting the brightness of our backlight, while with the line space lever I am able to switch among the different predefined light modes. Since there is no software provided with this keyboard, this is the only way for changing the animations of your keyboard's backlight. And as far as I know there is also no possibility to customize them with the key combination, something we see for example in other Chinese keyboards.
Now let's do a noise test. As I mentioned already, I chose the red switches from Autimo, which are not really noisy compared, for example, with the blue or green switches. That's because the red switches are linear switches compared with the green and blue, which are instead clicky switch types. So with the Autimo red, the keys require less force to press, but you don't feel or hear when the key is registered. These red switches are usually popular with gamers because these switches respond faster and they require less force to hold down the button. Here you can hear the difference between our retro keyboard with Autimo red switches and my other keyboard, the Razer Black Widow Elite with green switches. As you see from my test here, the Razer green switches are even more noisy than the Outimo blue. So that would be everything for today's video. I've been using this keyboard for about a week and I love the look, how compact and lightweight it is, but at the same time I really hate the power switch and I'm a bit disappointed honestly that we have no adjustable kickstand available at the back of the keyboard. And also the micro USB connection is a bit older now, right? So it would be better to have a USB-C port nowadays. I love anyway also the flexibility to be able to use it both wireless and wired with the provided the USB cable. You can simply switch between the different modes with a quick key combination and you will see the LED indicators turning from blue, which means wireless, to red, so you know that you are in wired mode. I've also been gaming with this little keyboard for a while without any issues whatsoever. Even if for that I always prefer a full-size keyboard. So I hope you guys like this review. If so, like and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions for me. I will be glad to answer if I can. Thanks anyway for watching everyone. I will see you in the next one.